So we all have those mornings where we sleep through about four alarms, hopefully it's not just me, and then you wake up and you're late for school, for work, for an appointment, whatever it is, and you automatically start freaking out because you don't know how you're gonna get ready in time and not look like a zombie. So today I'm gonna share with you how I get ready really quick when I'm running late. I don't know about you guys, but I like getting that extra 10 or 15 minutes of sleep. So this is the routine that I will use so that way I can sleep in a little bit more. Feel free to switch it up and use less products than I do or use more products than I do. It's all up to your routine. This is what I go for when I wanna look presentable and still look good, but I don't have a lot of time. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I do is apply lip balm because I hate my lips feeling dry in the morning. And then I'm going to fill in my brows with a little bit of brow powder. I don't have time to do my whole brow routine that I usually do, but I want them to look at least defined and decent. When I'm in a hurry, I focus completely on the skin. I'm gonna take a beauty blender and my favorite foundation, which is EX1 Invisware Foundation, and I'm just gonna apply this all over the skin. If you own a beauty blender, I highly recommend using it or getting one to use for when you're in a rush because you can use it for foundation and concealer. You'll see me use in a second, but this is just gonna make the foundation look really natural, and I find it's one of the fastest ways for me to apply is to use a beauty blender. Then I'm gonna take this Maybelline concealer and apply it underneath my eyes in a triangle and on my eyelids. Still using the Beauty Blender to blend everything out. This is just going to lift your eyes, make you look awake, and cover any darkness. Even if we're frazzled and running late, we wanna at least look like we're put together. And I'm gonna take some powder just to set the concealer so it doesn't budge. Now moving on to my cheeks, I wanna add some color to the face since I'm not using any eyeshadow. I'm gonna use a matte bronzer on an angled brush. Just apply it in the hollows of my cheeks and on the sides of my head. Then using that same brush, I'm going to apply some blush for a little bit more color and a little bit more of a flush right over the bronzer. And then you guys probably knew I was gonna highlight. It just makes your skin look really hydrated and putting these three on takes no time at all for me once you get the hang of it. And then I'm also gonna add some brow gel on my brows just to hold them in place and it's tinted so it's gonna add a little bit of color. And then for the eyes, all I'm gonna do is apply mascara on the top and bottom lashes. Then the last step is the lips. You can do a lip gloss or a lipstick. I'm going with a matte lip just because I've been loving this combo. Just as a note, if you see my body like jumping, it's because I had the hiccups the whole video and I tried to cut most of it out, but I think some of them are still in there. I'm just going to apply Soar lip liner all over my lips and then fill it in with Velvet Teddy from MAC. I love this lip combo and it just makes my lips look really full and really pouty and it's been my go-to. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I wanted to film something easy for every day and if you're in a hurry because even when I'm not running late, I tend to wear this look because it's really easy and it still makes you look put together. So don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Oh, don't lick me. I hate when you do that. I don't like it. Say stop, Mom. Stop me. High five. Take out. Take out. Kisses. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is where I really say.